Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys and welcome to this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. So this is actually a follow on video from the 3ds Max interior um, modeling series. So if you haven't followed that already, then make sure you go ahead and check it out. It's going to give you all the know how to create your own interior um, and a door and a door frame and get it all ready for the Unreal Engine. So we're going to be following on from that where we created the Unreal, uh, sorry, we created the 3ds Max models and now we've got everything imported into Unreal and we're going to be working with only setting up an animation for the door to open and close when the character approaches or moves away from the door. I've actually imported um, my door in and I've placed it where it needs to go. So you need to export the door and the frame as separate objects and then you're gonna place them uh, within your, your scene. Okay, so once again, if you wanna know how to get all this in there, follow my interior tutorial. Now, next step, okay, we're gonna actually um, go ahead, first of all, um, once you've placed everything and it's all where it should be, again, just double check on both sides of this hallway. Don't worry about the lighting issues. I've not really talk, uh, spoken about that yet at all. So we're gonna focus just on the matinee for now. Um, is we're, we're gonna be going into um, uh, creating a basic box trigger on the left hand side. So we're gonna drag that box trigger over into the actual perspective view. Okay, so let me just expand that perspective view. So we're gonna place that around the base uh, and you just wanna check on both sides just to make sure that it's just hanging over um, on both sides so that your player when he approaches or when he enters that box, it's gonna initiate the matinee. Okay, so I'm gonna place that around about there and the door's gonna be further forward on this side because that's where the pivot's gonna be. Okay, it's gonna rotate like so. All right, that kind of works better. Um, okay, so once you've kind of got that done, we're gonna go ahead and make sure you select the door. Okay, it's important that you select the door. Um, we click onto matinee and then we go to add matinee. And what you need to do then is you need to right click in this uh, area just here. Now there are, there are many different buttons here. We don't need to worry about a lot of them. We're gonna focus on the kind of timeline down at the bottom uh, and this area here as well where we can actually add the tracks um, of the animation. You've got the add key buttons, the play and the snap as well. Um, so snapping you can turn on or off, um, which are really useful. So we're gonna focus on those just now. So we're gonna right click just here. Again, making sure your door is selected. Okay, so there has to be a high highlighted um, your door should be highlighted. And then we're gonna right click here and go on to a new empty group. Now I want you to name this group door underscore zero one and press enter. So once you've created that door, uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, right click on the door zero one and add a new movement track, okay? So it's not an animation track, it's a movement track. So you're gonna click onto that and then we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of things. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our timeline to be only three seconds, because I, I reckon that the door opening should maybe last three seconds, so it's not too quick or too slow. Um, so the way we can do that is we can drag the timeline uh, length across with this red kind of point just here. So if you drag that across, we can put it onto three. Now one issue, one issue right now is that it's free movement, which can be a bit tricky to get it exactly on three. So what, what you can do is just press the S key or click onto the snap uh, button just here. And then we can actually snap this to the grid, uh, which is quite nice, it makes our job a little bit easier. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the green one over, which is the active um, timeline segment I guess and we're gonna drag that over to the right hand side so it goes to three as well so now you can see three seconds is the entirety or the entire length uh, of our timeline okay so the next thing is um, we're gonna go over and ensure the timeline is dragged so this timeline slider is all the way over to the left so it's on zero seconds and then we're gonna click on to add key Okay, when you click on to add key, you can just press the enter key as well. What that's basically doing is that is actually setting the start point of your door. So ensure your door is in the closed position. You don't want the door open at this point, um, make sure it's closed. And then we're gonna drag the timeline slider all the way up to three. So you're gonna insert another keyframe. So this time I'm gonna press enter. There you go. And now if you jump into your perspective view, again, you can see it in the background there. I'm gonna rotate this to be in the position I want it to be when it opens. So it's gonna be around about here. I don't want it to be a full sort of open all the way out to the wall because that's not probably the way 
a door would work based on the hinge. So I'm going to go to around about here. That's that's okay. Now once you've done that, we can actually go ahead and play that animation. So if we just go back here, we can drag the timeline and you can see what's happened. We've actually created the door animation. Fantastic. So if I was to play that, you can see how that opens. Again, if that's a bit too slow for you, all you have to do is drag all these parts. So the, the key uh, and the sliders all the way like across to two. So it'd only be um, two seconds and then you can you can adjust it as you as you want really. Make sure you save and that's gonna tell you that it needs to close the matinee window as well. So just make sure you save. Okay guys, so the next step is going to be um, essentially going ahead and finding the matinee that we've just created within our scene. Um, now if the icon doesn't show up where you can see it, then there's quite an easy way to find it. If you go over to your um, world outliner, so this is like all of your components in your, in your in your view or in your environment, um, we're going to find matinee actor. So once you select it in the list, it will be selected in your uh, 3D space as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that forward. And then I'm going to place it right in front of the door. Okay, that's going to be there as a reference for later because we are going to be using this um, for a, a step uh, in, a, in just a moment. Um, so now what we need to do is actually add collision. So I know like we've not actually uh, added the trigger uh, to do anything yet, but if you play, a character can simply uh, walk through the door, which is obviously no good. Uh, so we're going to quickly add some collision. Uh, with the door, it's quite simple. We just double click on the uh, mesh in our content browser we go over to um, collision and we're going to add a box simplified collision and as you can see it's going to be pretty it's going to be accurate because our object is simply a box um, so that's done um, once you've done that you can go into the door frame as well and for this you're not going to add a box collision because if you did that You'd, you'd actually block your character from going inside of this space. So we're gonna actually remove that. If, you, if you've done that, make sure you get rid of it. Uh, we're gonna go over to the right-hand side um, under details. We're gonna scroll down to static mesh settings, and then we're gonna go down to collision compo uh, complexity. Let's have a look, let's expand that. Collision complexity, and then in the default uh, drop down, we're going to select the bottom option, which is use complex collision, uh, which is basically a pair poly collision, meaning it's going to use every single polygon to um, calculate the collision. Now, that's not an issue when it's a low poly model. Obviously, if you've got a really high poly model, you probably don't want to be using that, and there are other solutions uh, like auto convex and, and things like that. Um, but for now that's gonna be perfect because this is a really low poly object so it's actually you know pretty boxy anyway so now if I go into play uh, you should notice that I can't get through that door uh, and the door frame as well so perfect all right so now let's move on to actually creating uh, or activating this trigger uh, one thing that I've done guys is I've actually expanded um, the trigger uh, box so on the front side this is the side that's actually going to rotate out i've actually made it a little bit larger so if i can select it let's click on the actual icon makes life a little bit easier i've just scaled it um like in this axis a little bit because i wanted it to activate a little bit earlier than this side because this side you'll be essentially sort of pushing the door forward whereas with this one your player would have to be a little further away from the door else the door wouldn't open because it would hit you and it would collide with you and then close again so we're gonna actually like i said keep a little bit larger uh, space um, to allow for the door to open on this side. So we're gonna just, um, once you've made a change, I will save it anyway, hit Control S. I've got a habit of doing that. I think you guys should too, uh, just in case something ever goes wrong with it, you've got it saved. Okay, so next step, uh, we're gonna go over and go into our blueprint. So we're gonna select the trigger um, box first. Okay, make sure it's selected so it's highlighted. We're gonna go to blueprints and open level blueprints. We're then gonna right click in our event graph. So this is where all of the stuff happens. This is where all, all of our instructions are. We're gonna right click in here and we're gonna search for on actor begin overlap. So there we go. So add on actor begin overlap. So what, what's that, what that's saying is this, um, panel just here is gonna, uh, any action we place into this, whenever our character overlaps this trigger box, um, that's what, what it's gonna activate basically. Um, so we have, we've currently got nothing in there, so we're gonna also add a, a new one. We're gonna add a um, on actor end overlap. So we've got the opposite. So when the character obviously ends the overlap, meaning moves out of this um, trigger box, uh, the character or this box trigger, the 
the door will then close. Um, now, I in, in my house, I have doors that self-close, I guess. They're auto-closing doors with a little kind of pulley that's attached within the door frame. So um, this is that kind of door. Um, but I will be giving you different solutions for doors in like an up-and-coming tutorial. So don't worry too much. This is obviously a good intro to it. And actually, it's pretty accurate for, for my own house anyway, because that's the way my doors close. Um, next step now is we're going to pull... In fact, we're going to be going over onto the matinee actor. We're going to click onto that. So that's why we moved it so we can select it now. We're going to right click in here. We're just going to click on to create a reference to matinee actor seeing as it's right there anyway. So that's that's done. Next, we're going to be dragging from this blue node over here and we're going to simply search for play and then press enter. We can then drag the node from the on actor begin overlap to the play. Okay, so when we start the overlap, it's going to play the matinee one. Uh, which is the one that we set up before that's the animation and then we're going to go ahead we're going to drag this out down here and we're going to go on to reverse and then we're going to go ahead and connect this up to the reverse okay so a simple thing there when we overlap the box trigger it's going to play the matinee actor one but when we end the overlap it's going to then play the um it's going to reverse play the matinee actor one so therefore it's going to close the door okay so let's just close that uh, we can go in straight away make sure you save your your file uh, we can save that and then as you'll see when i approach the door that begins to open and then as we leave see how it closes now one thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be changing the camera on this character as well but i'll do that in a video uh shortly as well because i don't really want it third person in an interior environment it doesn't really work so as you can see opens i move away and it will close as well which is fantastic so i could actually you know if i change my mind i'm gonna open it oh no 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 no. let's just leave it closed i don't i don't like what's behind that door it doesn't sound very good i'm gonna leave it so that kind of works pretty well so that brings this tutorial to an end hopefully you've enjoyed what i've done here guys and you've taken this and applied it to your own environments that's really uh, the only reason why i'm doing it i am going to be moving forward and creating different methods of animating doors like using a key press like the e key uh, or using like a physics um type door where you can open it and pull it and it's like a free uh like rotate door which is quite cool um, but yeah stay tuned for the next video videos guys if you're new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button uh, and if you would like to drop a like uh, on this video that would be awesome as well so yeah on that note guys I'll catch you next time